questions. Somebody was asking about Windows and my script messing things up. I do get that occasionally. I get the occasional email like, you broke my computer. I'm like, all right, well, I didn't twist your arm and said run the script, but all right, let's 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 address some script breakage. I'm gonna just click down here and here. Uh, these settings are managed by your organization. What this is doing in the script, like this is one of the items where it removes uh, a property. Basically, it's setting a registry key to lock you out of your screen. How Windows works is the registry in the back end sets these things, but there's an easier way to do it as well. I, I left this for, I think it, this is removes lock screen. So if you wanna change your lock screen around, just copy and paste this into your, your terminal. But let's go over to our Windows box. Uh, so you're on your Windows box. We hit start run gpedit.msc and that's gpedit.msc. This is our group policy editor. Please note, you do need to be on Windows 10 Pro to get the GUI version. Otherwise, you gotta dig in and change that script around and I'll show that here in a second too. So in here, if you go into administrative templates, all settings, and then go state, you can see what policies are enabled. On this system, there's really not much enabled, but if we click on this one, this one has been set, allow telemetry. And what I've done is I forced it to, to enterprise only or security only, trying to make that data collection from Microsoft at a bare minimum. Still, It still collects data, but um, that's the only group policy I set. But go in here, do that. You can do it for both the user and the computer setting. I have nothing set on the user side. I like to configure everything from the computer configuration and group policy, but that's the short of when things say allowed or your your manager, what was, what was the title? These settings are managed by your organization. That's what they're saying. Hey, there's a group policy, it's, it's set to this, and uh, that's one way of doing it. The other one, which if we actually go we'll pull the PowerShell script up, we'll go GitHub. Um, let's come down into our Windows 10 script repositories. Where's that at? And let's go ahead and pull up our main dbloat script that a lot of people have run. In here, you can kind of see under UI tweaks. This is the big one right in here. Um, ah, come on. Uh, this is where some changes happen, like task view. Some people wanted task view. Just make sure you change that hide to show. Uh, show tray icons. Some people like minimal tray icons. You know, let's say they have 30 managers running in the background, which you shouldn't, but let's say you do, and your whole task tray is full of icons. You can do hide tray icons, but I always say show tray icons just because you shouldn't have 20 things running unless you like running a slow system. So I always do that tweak. Um, these are basic things I would change. So I've kind of already done that in a past video, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but just change these. If you can't get your group policy launched, let's say you're on Windows 10 Home, uh, you, you need to just kind of fork this script, change these PowerShell settings, and then run it again. Um, and that's it. I did go ahead and the initial, let's say you did this a month ago, I did have disable lock screen where you couldn't change your lock screen. I went ahead and put this to enable because pretty much everybody should be able to change their lock screen. So rerun the script and it'll enable your lock screen if that's the only thing you're looking for. Or you can just run this one line to fix that. The next up, OneDrive setup. A lot of people wanted OneDrive. Uh, this is actually pretty easy. So let's... I've already uninstalled OneDrive from this system. But if you go into PowerShell Admin, from this, I think you can just type OneDrive Setup. OneDrive is like baked into Windows. OneDrive, where are you at? OneDrive Settings, OneDrive Setup. It's, this one's a six, SysWow64, actually. And this'll go out, reinstall OneDrive Setup, which, you know, let's see, oh, there it is. So, uh, 
there you go. You got your OneDrive back. You don't need to go download anything. Um, it's all, again, you can't really even uninstall OneDrive per se. There's just, it's so ingrained in Windows that it's just maddening. But if you use OneDrive and you use all those integration features, here's how you reinstall it. And now I got to go re uninstall OneDrive again. Dang it. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that.